Hi, it's Trevor Locke from iCoachSkating.com. I have a special treat for you today. If you're a skater, or a coach, or a skating parent, there's a good chance you can really benefit from learning the basics of computer video analysis. If you're a skater, you can analyze your own jumps and compare them with the jumps of top skaters, so you can see what you're doing wrong. If you're a skating parent, you can better understand what your skater and coach are struggling with. And if you're a coach, you can really benefit from video analysis because it's so much easier to see what's going on with your skaters using video. And everyone that studies video tends to develop a much better understanding of what's supposed to happen in jumps and spins. But here's the problem. Most skating parents don't try computer video analysis because they just don't feel they know enough about the sport to get a benefit from it. Most coaches don't use it because it's too expensive and too complicated. And skaters don't do it because they assume that their coaches are taking care of it, which is usually not the case. Well, all of that's going to change today. By the end of this video, you'll be able to handle all the technical details associated with analyzing your own jumps and spins. And I'm going to show you how to do it with your existing video camera and free software tools. Okay, step one. Shoot video of the jump or spin. Skaters, just have your parents take some video at the rink, or ask one of your friends at the rink to video one of your elements. If you're a skating parent or coach, just take the video yourself. You can use virtually any camera that shoots digital video. That includes traditional digital camcorders and pocket flip-type video recorders, as well as many point-and-shoot cameras that have video capability. Not all point-and-shoot cameras will produce video in a standard format, but most will. The standard formats that we're looking for are files that end with a .avi extension or those that end with a .mov extension. Look in your owner's manual for your camera to be sure. I have both a traditional camcorder and a Kodak ZI-8. The ZI-8 takes video at 60 frames per second, which allows me to see more detail in whatever I'm analyzing. If you have an analog video camera, you won't be able to get the video onto your computer without additional hardware and software. You'll need a digital camcorder. At the time that I'm creating this video, the Kodak ZI-8 that I'm using goes for between $150 and $180. Step 2. Transfer the video from the video camera to your computer. This step should be easy if you follow the instructions in your owner's manual. With most cameras and modern computers, the process is very simple. For example, when I connect my Kodak ZI-8 to my computer, I can use the regular Windows Explorer to see what's on the camera and copy or move it to a folder on the computer. I don't even need to use any of the fancy software that came with the camera. And when I connect my traditional camcorder to my computer, it's automatically detected by the computer and my computer asks me what I'd like to do. Older traditional digital camcorders must be connected using a special FireWire connector, while most newer camcorders have a USB connection. Again, just read your user's guide to figure out exactly what to do. The odds are that you've already figured out how to do this with your own video footage of vacations or special family events. Skating footage is no different. Okay, at this point we've taken some video and transferred it to our computer. Now the fun part. Step 3. Analyze your video. If your video file has a .mov extension, you should open it on your computer with QuickTime Player. If you don't have QuickTime Player, you can download it for free from www.apple.com forward slash QuickTime. Once you have it open, you can play your video. The simplest way to analyze your element is to use the arrow keys on the computer or use your mouse to control the slider. If your video file has a .avi extension, you can play it in Windows Media Player. Unfortunately, the controls in the Media Player are pretty archaic. To single step through your video, you probably need to go through a process to set it up. If you can't see the top menu, type Control M and it will appear. In the View tab, select Enhancements and click on Play Speed Settings. Once you have the play speed settings displayed, you can use the single step arrows to move forward one frame at a time by clicking on the arrow. Unfortunately, the back step arrow doesn't always work. In general, I find Windows Media Player to be a very poor option for watching and analyzing skating video. But there's another option and it's free. It's called Kenovia and it's a motion analysis program. You can download it from www.kenovia.org forward slash en. This is not a bug free program but it doesn't cost anything and it'll work well for most of your needs. It's also open source, which means it's being worked on by a number of independent people and it's likely to stick around. After you install it, start Kenovia and open the video file you're going to analyze. Kenovia is built with a true video analysis engine and it allows single frame forward and back as well as slow motion and side-by-side -side video analysis. If your video looks funny with weird horizontal lines, just go up to the image menu and select de-interlace. Your video should be crisp and sharp. 
Okay, at this stage we've taken some video, loaded it onto our computer, and opened it in our analysis program. We're ready for step four, learn what to look for. This is the most difficult step in video analysis. At iCoachSkating.com, we provide quite an array of information that will help you learn what to look for. Top coaches have already figured this step out, and they've been graciously sharing this information for years. So the easiest way to master this step is to join iCoachSkating.com. But here's the deal. Even if you don't join iCoachSkating.com, you can still learn exactly what to look for. You can learn by shooting video of the best skaters at your rink and carefully observing what they do in each video frame. Top video analysis coaches have whole libraries of good jumps and spins to compare against, and you can start building your own library yourself. In fact, this is a fun project you can do with your friends at the rink, or it can even be a club project that everyone can do together. At iCoachSkating.com, we provide our subscribers with sample jumps to use for comparison, and we show them exactly what to look for while analyzing jumps. Our subscribers can download these jumps and use them to better understand the jumps and compare them with their own. The technology of computer video analysis is changing figure skating. More and more, skaters, parents, and coaches are taking charge of their own education. They're using the tools to build an impressive knowledge base that gives them and their skaters an advantage in the sport. This will ultimately make our entire sport better as all participants have a much higher level of skill and knowledge. Please don't make the mistake of thinking you already know everything. And don't make the mistake of trusting someone else to know everything. Take responsibility for yourself or your skaters, and I know you'll see a real benefit. For more information on computer video analysis, please visit iCoachSkating.com. I'm Trevor Locke, and thanks for watching.